I really don't see a new normal for me yet. Kearney Mesa resident Bianca Santos received a kidney from her cousin a few years ago. She since had to take immune compromising drugs to keep her body from rejecting the organ. That means the flu or even food poisoning can be enough to send her to the hospital. Being high risk, she's mostly been staying at home during the pandemic. I don't want to regret it at the end of the day knowing that, oh, I... I hung out with someone who's actually positive and I just found out that's what scares me right now. Those who are immunocompromised may not get full or any protection from COVID-19 vaccinations, so extra doses are being recommended. In fact, I got my fourth shot already last weekend. But Santos isn't sure how to feel about transitioning into the next pandemic phase. Moving away from a reactive mindset and a crisis mindset uh, to living with this virus. In the last few days, I keep um, thinking about the words like the world has moved on without me or without people who are undergoing the same things as I do. Moving to an endemic response is also a recognition that the virus isn't going away. Sometimes it's a hard pill for me to swallow that it just takes longer time for me to get the normal and I'm having trouble digesting one that normal would be for me if it takes like a few more years longer. We're hearing from state and local officials that the pandemic response will continue with vaccines, testing and treatments. But again, all of that is more in a state of endemic, a state of preparing for things we prepare for, just like we prepare for the flu uh, and just like we prepare for other other respiratory viruses. I wouldn't really word it that way, but then for people who have normal immunity, I guess it's so easy for them to say that. <laughs> Santos is hoping to take a new antibody treatment that should give her some immunity against infection. There hasn't been too much guidance for people suffering like me, um, except from my doctor. And he just says, uh, absolutely no restaurants. Right now, her strategy is to continue to be cautious. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.